Maybe the best way to get you to understand that it's not genes, it's how they're expressed is this. Are you all aware that every cell in your body is genetically identical? Is everybody aware that, that basically you're, you come from half from your mom, half from your dad, those cells got together, formed what's called a zygote, and then that cell divided, replicated the DNA over and over again to make you. Are you all aware of that? That every cell in your body is genetically identical. Are you aware of that? Yes? So the genes are all identical. Is that true? Now, why don't you think about the different function and structure of an eye cell versus a heart cell versus a kidney cell versus an intestinal cell versus a hair cell. Think about the difference if you looked at a heart cell in histology or on, in, under a microscope and you looked at a nerve cell under a microscope, how different are they? Profoundly different. What's the difference? The gene code or the expression of the gene code? Expression of the gene code. I don't need to really say more, do I? So the fact of the matter is, here's what I'll tell you. What determines how our genes get expressed? It's called the environment. The fact of the matter is, is that your state of health is the genetic expression of your environment. The state of health that you're in right now is the genetic expression of your lifestyle choices up until now. Whatever they look at in a microscope, whatever your blood pressure is, whatever your cholesterol level is, whatever they want to look at under a microscope, whatever gene they can find that's turned on, that gene didn't turn itself on. That gene being turned on is the genetic expression, it's the effect of your lifestyle choices. And your, the effects of your lifestyle choices bioaccumulate with time. They bioaccumulate with time. The good news is your good choices bioaccumulate with time. The bad news is your bad choices bioaccumulate with time. But as long as people believe that they are sick or well because of random chance or bad genes, they're not going to make the lifestyle changes that are required to give them a longer, better life because they don't think it's worth it. Why would they give up chocolate, beer, coffee, couch sitting, pizza eating, donut eating, coffee swilling, if it didn't make a difference? They won't, and because they're told it doesn't make a difference. 